We also have Bob Schieffer, our chief Washington correspondent and the anchor of Face the Nation with us today. Bob, the president seems determined to make this one of his signature achievements of his second term. He even invoked Ronald Reagan's call for an assault weapons ban in his remarks today. How do you think this is going to be received on Capitol Hill and, and how does this play out going forward? Well, I, I just heard Nancy say there's going to be opposition, but, you know, uh, let's remember there was considerable opposition when Lyndon Johnson uh, went to the Congress and passed, uh, presented some of the most comprehensive civil rights legislation in the history of this country. Most people told him he couldn't get it done, but he figured out a way to do it. And that's what Barack Obama is going to have to do. Uh, Scott, as you so rightly uh, pointed out, what happened in Newtown was probably the worst day in this country's history since 9-11. We found Osama bin Laden. We tracked him down. We changed the way uh, that we dealt with that problem. Uh, surely, finding Osama bin Laden, surely passing civil rights legislation as Lyndon Johnson was able to do, and before that, surely defeating the Nazis uh, was a much more formidable task than taking on the gun lobby. Uh, this is a turning point uh, in this country, and uh, the president is going to have to do more than just make a speech about it. This is one of the best speeches I've ever heard him deliver. But it's going to take more than that from the White House. He's going to have to get his hands dirty. He's going to have to get in there and, and work this problem until he gets it done. But uh, unless we figure out a way to make sure that something like Newtown never happens again, uh, we're not the country that we once were. I think we still are. I think there's hope. I think something's going to happen here. Bob, thank you very much.